I'm Rebecca Ureno with Behind the Buzz, and today we have Ling with us, CEO of Otsa. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So, Ling, tell us a little bit about the company and how you became founder and CEO of Otsa. So, we are basically an autonomous technology company, and we build robots. So what you've seen back here is Camelo, which is one of our product. It's an outdoor delivery autonomous robot. And uh, while we started this business seven years ago, I based myself out of San Francisco for two and a half years where we built the technology essentially is the software, which is the brain of the robot, how it helps to navigate, you know, and map and localize as the robot goes outdoor. So fast forward seven years later, we have launched security robot and then a disinfection robot, a last mile delivery robot and of course also a hospital logistic robot. So with technology, it helps human. It also gives human a better life quality and work-life balance. That's amazing. And so tell us a little bit about what your scale of operations is now that you've begun to make your way to North America. We have uh, operations back in Singapore, which is our headquarters of about 60 employees manpower. But we have also set up offices um, in US, which is in Boston. And also in Germany, we are based out of Munich itself. So that's our European uh, headquarters. So we have basically offices in three continents around the world. And post pandemic, the demand of robots, it's rising very fast and we feel that this is our time there is a huge paradigm shift we are going to take on the market build more robots ship it out deploy and help you know serve the business serve the people that's great so lastly what are your goals for the company and what can people and investors look out for well my goal and my vision is actually robotics is a huge industry and we are just right at the very start infancy uh, stage. What I vision is it's going to be like the automotive industry. From here on, we can do this for the next 30 to 100 years. The demand will get stronger because you see uh, aging population, declining population, and simply human doesn't want to do mundane tasks like security, cleaning, and delivery. So, it's here to stay, it will grow, it will become a new normal and it's here to help humanity and also give human a better way of life. Well, thank you so much, Ling, for being here with us today and all of you watching, thank you.